again, my little yarnivores and spider eggs. Fiber Spider back again with another tutorial just for you. And today we are going to be making a gorgeous lacy pineapple doily. Been a very long time since I've done any sort of doily tutorials, so I thought it was high time, and I love the pineapple motif. Mm. So this particular piece, I decided to go a little bit traditional, and I used crochet cotton thread. This is a, a, a 10. Um, you can go, you know, thicker or thinner, but I like the the, the 10 weight. Um, and with that, I use this itty bitty little hook. This is a 1.5 millimeter crochet hook. Yes, itty bitty, teeny weeny. But to give you an idea of scale, I also did a bigger example. So if you want something a, with a little bit more heft, shall we say, I also did the same pattern. I didn't sew in my ends though. Did the same pattern using Pound of Love in the antique white. If you want something a bit more expansive, shall we say. And with this particular piece, yeah, I used the Pound of Love, but also I used a size I 5.5 millimeter crochet hook, and it is a lot bigger. And we're going to be doing something similar because it's a lot easier to see yarn than thread. So today I'm going to be using this weight of three yarn with a size five millimeter hook. It's a size H. And uh, yeah, so without further ado, let's get started. Alrighty, round one. By the way, this project, it's a total of 15 rounds. I'm going to see how far I can get uh, within the first video. Chances are I'm going to have to go into a second video for this particular project. I like to be thorough. I can't help it. So I'm going to start off with our slip knot and a chaining of four. One, two, three, and four and then slip stitch to the first chain to create a ring. You could also do the, the magic loop method. I prefer this method myself. So after that, chain up five, one, two, three, four, and five, and then double crochet into the ring that we just created. There we go. So we've got two double crochets separated by a chain two space. Now, for the rest of the round, we're going to be doing a chaining of three. Don't ask me why, but I always find that it works out better uh, with one less chain. It just, it looks a lot neater as opposed to doing a chaining up of three and then a chaining of three along the side, you know, total of six. Five just looks better. So chain three because I'm sure that I will get that question in the comment section. So I'm nipping that in the bud. All right, so double crochet into that center ring. We need a total of six double crochets separated by chain three spaces. So we've already got three doubles. So chain three and double in the center, that ring. Chain three. and double into that ring in the center. Ooh, almost had it. There we go. And what's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I need one more. One, two, three, double crochet into the center. Chain three. All right, and then slip stitch into the third chain from the bottom. One, two, three, slip stitch into there. There we go. And slip stitch. See, don't ask me why, but the chaining of two that we have here. Just, it looks better. At any rate, slip stitch into that chain space. And that is the end of round one. Round two. 
All right, so start off by chaining up three. One, two, three. Double crochet into the same space. Chain three. And two double crochets into that same space. There we go. And we're going to do six more of these. Well, sorry, five more for a total of six. So after doing your two doubles, chain three, two doubles, well, going to do the same thing in the next. So into the next space, two doubles, chain three, and two doubles. Next space, two doubles, chain three, two doubles. It's really that easy to begin with. Don't worry, it gets a little bit more, more fiddly later on, but right now it's quite, quite simple. Okay, and then two doubles into that next space, chain three. And two doubles in the same space. There we go. One more. Next space, two doubles, chain three, two doubles. One, two, three, double, and double. And last space, two doubles, chain three, and two doubles. There. And then to finish round two, slip stitch into the top of that first double that we got there. Then slip stitch into the next double and slip stitch into the chain space. And there you are. That is the end of round two. Okay, round three. We're going to be doing essentially the same thing, but we're going to be separating our clusters with chain five spaces. So we need our first cluster, chain up three double into the same space, chain three, two doubles in that same space, and then chain five. One, two, three, four, five, cluster in the next chain three space. So that's two doubles, chain three, two doubles. two doubles, one, two, three, two doubles, there we go, chain five, one, two, three, four, five, next space, two doubles, chain three, two doubles, two doubles, one, two, three, two doubles, chain five, one, two, three, four, five, next chain space, two doubles, chain three, two doubles, there we go. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Next space, two doubles. Chain three, two doubles. OK, 
Okay, chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Next space, two doubles. Chain three. Two doubles. Come on. Thank you. And then, last but not least, I need another chain five space because we have to connect them. So, chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And then, slip stitch to the top of this first double crochet. There we are. Slip stitch into that next double and slip stitch into the chain space. And there you go. That's the end of round three. Mm -hmm. Round four. All right, round four, very similar, but we're going to actually be doubling the chain five spaces. You'll see what I mean in just a second. So start off with our clusters as per usual, chain up three, double into that same chain space, chain three, two doubles in the same space. We're gonna be doing a lot of these, sort of the spines of the motif. All right, so after we have our cluster, then chain five, one, two, three, four, five, single crochet into the chain five space, chain five again, one, two, three, four, five, and then into the chain three space, another cluster. So that's two doubles, chain three, and two doubles. Now the single crochet that you do on the chain space, you know, you can shift it around. So it's a, if it's not perfectly centered, don't worry, you can shift it. It's not a big deal. So we shall proceed on with a chaining of five, one, two, three, four, five, single in the chain five space, chain five again, one, two, three, four, five, and cluster in the cluster. So it's two doubles, chain three, and two doubles. There we go. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Single in the chain five space. Chain five again, one, two, three, four, five. Cluster in the cluster. Two doubles. Chain three, two doubles. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Single in the chain five space. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Cluster in the cluster. Two doubles. Chain three, two doubles. There we go. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Single in the chain space. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Cluster in the cluster, two doubles. Chain three, two doubles. Okay, 
And we are almost there. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Single in the chain space. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And slip stitch to the top of that first double. There. Then slip stitch into the next double and slip stitch into the chain space. And voila, the end of round four. Mm, beautiful. Okay, round five. Gonna start off as per usual with our cluster. So chain up three, one, two, three, double in the same space, chain three, and two doubles in the same space. Alrighty, now this next part can be a little bit tricky, but I will I will do it plenty of times for you. Don't worry about that. Okay, so start off by chaining six. We're going from five up to six. It's not a huge difference, but one, two, three, four, five, six. Then we're going to be doing two double crochets together, one in this space, the other one in this space. So yarning over, going into the first space, pull up a loop, and pull through two, but don't finish the double. Then yarn over, go into the next space, pull up a loop, pull through two, then pull through all three loops to finish your two double crochets together. And there you go. It creates a lovely little diamond in the middle there. Then chain six again. One, two, three, four, five, six and cluster in the cluster. So that's two doubles, chain three, and two doubles. Okay. Do that again. Chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six, Yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two, yarn over into the next space, pull up a loop, pull through two, then pull through all three. Chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six, cluster in the cluster, two doubles. Chain three, two doubles, chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six, yarn over into the space, pull up a loop, pull through two, yarn over, next space, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through all three, chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six, cluster in the cluster, two doubles, chain three, two doubles, okay, chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six, yarn over, pull up a loop in that space, pull through two, yarn over, next space, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through all three, chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six, cluster in the cluster, two doubles, Chain three, two doubles. Chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six. 
yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through, two. Yarn over, go into the next space, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through all three. Chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Cluster in the cluster. Two doubles. Chain three. And two doubles. There we go. And we are in the home stretch. Yes, we are. Okay, just have to pull out a wee bit more yarn. There we go. Chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two. Yarn over into the next space, pull up a loop, pull through two. Pull through all three loops, chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then slip stitch into the top of that first double crochet. Almost. There we go. And then, of course, slip stitch into the next double and slip stitch into the chain space. And that is the end of round five. Round six, which I think is a little bit easier than the previous one, you'll see in a minute. Start off again, cluster in the cluster. So chain up three, one, two, three, double in the same space, chain three, and two more doubles in the same space as per usual. There we go. Still going to be chaining six. One, two, three, four, four, thank you, five, six. Then into the top of this double crochet two together, we're going to be doing a double chain three double into the top of that stitch. And, you know, sometimes I am I'm, I'm inclined to go into that space over there. No, it's right underneath here, right in there. Double, right in there, chain three, and double in that same stitch. So it looks like that. Then chain six again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Thank you. And then cluster in the cluster. Two doubles. Chain three. And two doubles. Okay, chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. And into those stitches there, double, chain three, and double into that same stitch. There we go. Chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And cluster in the cluster. Two doubles. Chain three. And two doubles. Chain six. And double. There we go. Thank you. So it's double, chain three, and double, 
chain six, cluster in the cluster, two doubles, chain three, two doubles, chain six, into these middle stitches, double, chain three, and double, chain six, cluster in the cluster, two doubles, chain three, two doubles, chain six, double in the center, chain three, and double in that same stitch. There we go. Chain six. Cluster in the cluster, two doubles. Chain three, two doubles. And we are on the last one. Hoo -hoo. Okay, chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Double in the center. Chain three. And double. Same stitch. Chain six. One, two, three four, five, six, and then slip stitch into the first double. There we go. Slip stitch into the next double, and slip stitch into the chain space. And there you go. So at this point, your piece should look something like this. Mm -hmm. All right. Alrighty, so round seven, things are going to go a little, little bit different. So I'm going to start off in our usual fashion by chaining up three. One, two, three, another double in the same space. And it's at this point that we're going to be expanding our clusters. So after doing your two doubles, chain three, double into the same chain space, but we're not done. No, chain three again. One, two, three, and then two doubles. We're having our single cluster slowly becoming a double cluster. So it's two doubles, chain three, one double, chain three, two doubles. All right, and then chain five. We did two rows, <clears throat> excuse me, two rows of sixes. Now we're going to go back to fives. So one, two, three, four, five. And then into the chain three space, five doubles separated by chain one spaces. So double, chain one, double, chain one, Double, chain one, double, chain one, and double. There you go. So we got our five doubles separated by chain one spaces. Chain five, one, two, three, four, 
five into the cluster. We're, we're doing a split cluster. Don't forget, it's very important. So two doubles. Chain three. Double. Chain three. Two doubles. There we go. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And then into the chain three space. Double. Chain one. Double. Chain one. Double. Chain one. Double. Chain one. And... double. And it does not hurt to double count every time you do this because it'll save you some grief in the long run. Trust me. So chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Doing a, a split cluster. So two doubles. Chain three, one double. Chain three and two doubles. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then into the chain three space. Double. Chain one. Double. Chain one, double, chain one, double, chain one, and double. There we go. Chain five. Split cluster. That's two doubles. Chain three, one double, chain three, and two doubles. Chain five, scoot ourselves along into the chain three space, double, Chain one, double, chain one, double, chain one, double, chain one, and double. There we go. Chain five. And a split cluster, so that's two doubles. Chain three. One double. Chain three. And two doubles. There. Okay. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Into the chain three space, double. Chain one, double. Chain one, double. Chain one, double. Chain one, and Double. There we go. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Split cluster. So that's two doubles. Chain three. One double. Chain three. 
And I need more yarn already. There we go. Okay, so I did my two doubles, chain three, one double. Now I need another two more doubles to finish off my split cluster. There we are. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. And then into the chain three space, double. Chain one and double. Chain, whoa, whoa, whoa. One, thank you. And double. Chain one. And double, chain one, and double. Okay. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. And then slip stitch into the first double. There we go. Slip into the second double and slip into the chain space. And there you go, that is the end of round seven. Okay, round eight. Start by chaining up three. One, two, three. Double into the same space, chain three. And two doubles into that same space. And then, now that we have one cluster, into the second chain three space, we're going to do another cluster. No chain spaces in between, not yet anyway. So going directly into the next chain space, two doubles, chain three, two doubles. Two doubles, chain three, and two doubles. There we go. And then from here, chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we have this fanning out of stitches. We're gonna be stitching into the double crochets and into the chain spaces for a total of nine doubles. So go right into that double with a double and then into the chain space with a double and so forth. So that's two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So be sure to go into the double crochet stitches and into the chain spaces in between, so that you've got a total of nine. And then chain five, one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna be doing two more clusters. So into that first chain space, two doubles. Chain three, two doubles. Next chain three space, two doubles. Chain three and two doubles. Okay, chain five, one, two, three, four, five. And then into the fan doubles into the doubles and into the chain spaces for a total of nine. So double into the double and then into the chain space, into the double. There we go. And then into the chain space and so forth until we have nine. 
So that's already five, six, seven, eight, and nine, chain five. Okay, into the next chain three space, two doubles, chain three, two doubles, next space, two doubles, chain three, and two doubles. There you go. And I'll do one more with you guys. And then I think you can do the rest of the round on your own. You know, I think you're getting the, the gist of what we're doing. So let's chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Double into the double. And then double into the space. Into the double. into the space until we reach nine. So I've already got four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Then chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and then two doubles, chain three, two doubles, next space, two doubles, chain three, and two doubles. And so just keep going in the same fashion for the rest of this round. And then, there we are. And then after doing your uh, cluster, cluster, your chain five, your nine doubles, your chain five, slip stitch into the beginning of the top of the, the first double, into the second double, and then into the chain space. And there you go. That is the, the entirety of round eight. Alrighty. Alrighty, my dears. So that is going to conclude the first part of this tutorial. At the end of round eight, your piece should look something like this, but we shall continue on with the second half in the next video. I really hope that you guys are enjoying this so far. And if you are, please give a little thumbs up button down below. You know that I appreciate your appreciation as always. And stay tuned for the second part and my videos in general, because whether it's crocheting, knitting, audiobook narrations, origami, cooking, or video games on my other YouTube channel, Fiber Spider Games, I like to be diverse. I like to, you know, be a jack of all trades. So listen, everybody. Thank you again so much for joining me today, and you know what to do until next time, right? I want all of you to stay inspired, stay caffeinated, stay stitching, and please stay safe. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now, everybody, and have a great day.